In this video, we're going to look at the economics of transfer pricing. We have a company, Star Guitar, that makes and sells guitars and faces the following inverse demand for its guitars. Price equals 800 minus Q, where marginal revenue is just the inverse demand with a slope that is twice as steep. So marginal revenue is 800 minus 2Q. Uh, this company has two divisions, an upstream division that makes the guitar bodies and necks and has the following cost structure, total cost equals 2Q squared. The derivative of that gives us the marginal cost for the upstream division, making these guitar bodies and necks. And the downstream division will assemble the bodies and necks into the final guitars, uh, where one assembled guitar requires one body and one neck. The downstream division's cost structure is given by the following, where the marginal cost of assembly is the derivative of total cost, and it's just constant at $200. Example 1, we're going to assume there's no outside market for guitar bodies and necks. What should the transfer price of guitar bodies and necks be in order to maximize overall firm profits? So step 1, we need to find something called net marginal revenue and we're going to do this for the downstream firm. Net marginal revenue is simply marginal revenue minus the marginal cost of assembly for the downstream firm or downstream division. So in the last screen we saw the marginal revenue was given by 800 minus 2Q and we saw the downstream division's marginal cost at $200 being constant at 200 so plugging that in and simplifying the net marginal revenue for the downstream division is 600 minus 2Q. The next step will be setting this 600 minus 2Q equal to the marginal cost of the upstream division. We saw in the last screen that the marginal cost of the upstream division is 4Q. So setting those equations equal and solving for Q, Q equals 100. So the final step here, step three, is to find the transfer price. That is, the ups, uh, that is what price does the downstream division pay the upstream division for a set of guitar bodies and necks. And to do that, the upstream division's marginal cost at 100 guitar bodies and necks will represent the transfer price. So the transfer price will simply be the upstream division's marginal cost when Q equals 100. So doing the math here, uh, we find a transfer price of $400. So this is what the downstream division pays upstream for one guitar body and one guitar neck. Uh, miscellaneous from the downstream division's uh, point of view, its relevant marginal cost of producing and assembling guitars is a transfer price plus the marginal cost of assembly, or $600. Example two, guitar bodies and necks can be sold in an outside competitive market at $300. So the downstream firm now has the ability to buy guitar bodies and necks not only from its upstream uh, counterpart, its upstream division, but also out in the competitive market. The marginal cost of guitar bodies and necks equals the competitive price in this market, which is $300. So the transfer price is just $300. The next step is to get the number of guitar bodies and necks produced by the upstream firm and that will be sold to the downstream firm. To do that, you're going to set this competitive market price, which is the transfer price, $300, equal to the upstream division's marginal cost, and that is $75. So the upstream division will sell 75 guitar bodies and necks to the downstream division okay, at a transfer price of $300. Now what about the downstream division? The downstream division will set the net marginal revenue, which we found uh, in the last slide, equal to the price in the competitive market. So the downstream division will assemble and produce 150 guitars. Half of those guitar bodies and necks are coming from the upstream division. The other half, the downstream division, is buying those as inputs in the outside competitive market. So half the guitar bodies and necks are bought by the downstream division in the outside market. The other half 
from the upstream division. And that is the end. I hope you found this video beneficial.